thinking about going to real estate school to get your license, but not sure whether you want to go online or into a classroom? Stay tuned. We're going to talk about the pros and cons of each. And at the end of the video, I'll tell you what I decided. Hey everybody, it's me, Gabe again. Thank you so much for joining me for this video today as we talk about the pros and the cons of real estate pre-license training in classroom versus online. So today we're gonna talk about where you wanna go to school at to get your real estate license. It's a very important decision. So when it comes to it, there's really only about two options, there's online or classroom training. And that's pretty much how it is these days with school, right? So we're gonna talk about online classes, the pros and cons of that, and classroom training, the pros and cons of that. Let's start with online. So, online, let's talk about the pros. Well, it's not super expensive. So you can find a very reasonable, um, course online that is not going to be super expensive and, and drain your bank account, which is very important as a new agent because you're going to have a lot of costs and expenses. Um, second, you can go at your own pace. So you can go through that content as fast as you want or as slow as you want. As long as you're going through that content and you feel good about it and like you have a good enough handle on it to go and take your test. Um, three, there are tons of options for schools, right? Like online schools uh, for your real estate license, there are just a ton. And of course that depends on your state, uh, but where I am in Oregon, there is just a lot, a lot of options. <laughs> so you're never gonna run out of online school. Um, you don't have a need for a lot of supplies if you're going to online courses. You basically just need your computer, an internet connection, and you're all set. Um, there's no traveling, so it's going to save on gas and uh, maybe stress if you're in an area where there's a lot of traffic. Uh, and you can do it in the comfort of your own home, which is really nice, especially now with, well, what's going on in the world and everything. Um, so those are some of the pros. Let's talk about some of the cons. If you're doing online courses, you could have issues with the internet and it could cause you to have an issue with your course. Um, so, and that's true with any online schooling or any online business, uh, like work from home type business, is that you could have environmental issues that impact what you're able to do. So if the power goes out, there's not really a lot you can do about that. Your internet goes down, not really a lot you can do about that. You're kind of at the mercy of your environment. In a way, um, you must have a separate office or study area. Now that might not seem like you do need one of those. Like I can just do it in my bed, right? Not if you want to hear kids screaming while you're trying to learn or not if you significant other is watching Jeopardy and you're trying to, you know, learn what foreclosure means, right? It's not very conducive to a learning environment. So you're going to need a separate office space or study space that's quiet. You can close the door and you can really get into the content you're trying to learn. Um, learning is self-paced and lots of times with recorded instructions. So I know I said self-paced self can be a pro. Well, this can also be a con. Um, if you're more of a hands-on person, then you kind of need that help guiding you through the process and it, it's you don't really want recorded instruction, right? You want to be able to ask that instructor questions on the spot. So sometimes that can be kind of a con. Questions can also take a long time to answer. So let's say you are in that situation where you have a question. It's not live. So sometimes you have to email or chat and then you're waiting on a response from that instructor uh, before you can go forward. So those are some of the pros and cons of online. And now we're going to talk about some of the pros and cons of classroom. So we'll start with the pros in the classroom. It's in person and it's hands on. So if you're a hands on learner, kinesthetic learner, somebody who really 
finds that you learn more by doing it, then the classroom is probably going to be good for you. Um, you, your instructor can answer questions and provide insight on the spot. So you're not waiting for an email. You're not waiting for a chat. You can raise your hand, ask the instructor a question right there. You're going to get your answer right there. Um, and this is the next one is a big one. And this is the opportunity to network with other new agents in the area. So just as important as getting out there and meeting people and shaking hands and getting your name out there so you can get clients. I would argue it's just as important to have that good relationship with other agents in your area because these are business partners that you could be working with down the road um, and you want to keep that a good professional relationship. And so having that opportunity to network and meet those other new agents with you that are heading out to the area with you could be very helpful for your career. Um, you can draw from the cust uh, instructors, excuse me, <laughs> you can draw from the instructors experience. So if you've done some research on this, you know that your pre-licensed courses are mostly legalities and contractual um, ins and outs that you need to know as a real estate broker. But they don't actually tell you what to do once you pass that exam, right? Like the actual doing of the job, the, the pounding of the pavement, okay? The getting out there and, and making business for yourself. That's not a part of the real estate course. <laughs> so you, what's nice about in class is that you're going to have an instructor who's been a licensed real estate agent who usually is going to know the local area a little bit and going to be able to offer you some real advice on the actual job other than just the back end stuff. So what are the cons of classroom? Well, it's expensive. Um, it definitely can be more expensive than the online classes and sometimes can take a little longer because you have to space out those classes and, and stuff like that. Um, and uh, you have to go to class. <laughs> Obviously with the world right now, that might not be something that sounds great to you. Or if you prefer to learn from home, you're not gonna be excited about having to go into class. You're gonna burn that gas and all those other costs that are um, you know, expected when you're going to school for a class. Um, so those are the pros and cons of online versus class. I hope I gave you something to think about. I can tell you, me personally, what my decision was, was to go class. Um, that's because I am a hands-on kinesthetic learner, and I definitely, definitely see the benefit of networking in my local area, meeting some of those newer agents, and being able to pull on some of that knowledge from the experienced agent that's going to be training us in the class. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I hit 25 subscribers the other day, and man, my, my smile, ear to ear smile, I was so happy. My subscribers are the best. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe, like the video so you can see when my next video comes out. I do plan on having lots and lots more real estate content come out. Thank you guys again for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day.